My research specialisms are mostly concerned with what might broadly be seen as the rise and decline of the American empire. So I'm interested in how the US came to uh, be the most powerful nation on the earth uh, and um, then how that power came uh, to, to fall away, both in relative terms in comparison to other nations and uh, also in absolute terms as well. The main way my research informs my teaching is because at the moment I'm uh, trying to write a book on the rise of the United States, the global power, and I teach a course on, a second year course on Anglo-American relations since about 1850. So I encourage students to think about the way that the United States um, expanded both across the continental North American landmass, but then also how it thought about incorporating other territories into the United States to question whether uh, it was a form of empire, um, but also to think about how the US thought about itself in relation to other powers, and particularly Britain, both positively as a force for development and, and sort of um, an, as an exceptionalist force, but also how it took on some of the um, uh, idiosyncrasies of empire uh, in the way that it did that. I think the greatest strength of the department is that it's, uh, it's a, a good size but it's not too big and it's very friendly so you can always find someone to talk to, to ask uh, advice and uh, people are always available. If I could give students one piece of advice apart from uh, doing reading for their seminars, uh, it would be to get involved in university life in all kinds of different ways. And the most obvious way to do that is to join societies. Uh, in particular, the History Society is a very uh, good one that uh, the department's very heavily involved with. Students obviously do lots of things on their own, but staff are also uh, connected to it and involved with it. For example, um, staff uh, usually come along to the History Society uh, Christmas party and quiz, and it's always really, really good fun.